Chloe undergoes an experimental surgery which might help her hear again. The results are surprisingly positive until she starts hearing her mother's voice who disappeared when Chloe was only eight. Let's hear what her mother has to say. Chloe is seen traveling alone to a city to undergo an experimental procedure which might help her in getting her hearing ability back. When she was only eight, her mother died and around the same time she lost her hearing. Chloe can still hear her voice in her brain. She meets Dr. Lynch who explains that the procedure is still very experimental but they are hopeful to get positive results. They inject a stem cell associated retrovirus that would help restore the damaged auditory nerve fibers. Chloe arrives at her old house alone while her dad is swamped with work. He regularly texts her about her health and even asks if she wants him to come back but Chloe insists that she is fine. They are planning to sell their old house so Chloe is living there to help her dad. She informs her dad about the broken heating system and her dad assures her his friend Hank, who is an ex-cop, will arrive soon to fix it. At night, she notices someone standing at the window of the neighbor's house and proceeds to lock all the doors and windows. She takes a kitchen knife for safety before going to bed. The next day, Hank arrives and Chloe uses her phone to communicate with him. Hank fixes the water heater in the family car at Chloe's request. Afterwards, Chloe remarks that last night she saw a light next door. Hank assures that she is safe and she can call him anytime if she needs anything and bids her goodbye. Chloe spends her time watching old family videotapes from when her mother was alive, but the TV plays are more static than actual footage. When she is driving around the town, she spots a truck parked outside a house and stops by. She hesitates to knock on the door when a guy comes from behind and introduces himself as Joshua. She remarks that she is cleaning out her house and asks if she can use his truck. Joshua then reminds her that they used to play together. He remembers she got really sick and lost her hearing before moving away. He invites her inside to meet his mom. She remarks that Chloe looks just like her mother and expresses her disappointment that they were never able to find out where her mom went or if she really died. Back at the house, Chloe repeats her routine of watching old family footage. She hears her mom call her name and asks her to say, Happy Fourth of July. This startles Chloe as she presses her ear against the TV where she can vaguely hear her mom's voice. Meanwhile, on the other side of the town, a girl closes a store and walks towards her car. A stranger in black gloves knocks her out before dragging her inside and brutally killing her. The following day, Chloe wakes up to the astonishment of being able to hear things. She excitedly walks outside and carefully listens to all the sounds around her. She later calls her dad and both of them rejoice at the moment together. In the city, Chloe gets tested by the doctors. Dr. Lynch expresses her excitement and asks Chloe to continue what she was doing and call her if she needs anything. Back home, Chloe hears a police car rushing somewhere and then gets startled by Joshua's voice. He remarks that this is the second case after her mother's disappearance as another girl has gone missing without a trace. Chloe seems a little uncomfortable with Joshua and goes back inside. Joshua then realizes that Chloe could hear him. Chloe again watches the old tapes. Now with her recovered hearing, she hears her mother ask her to go to bed in the footage and turns off the TV. She looks out the window to the house next door and hears a party going on. The noise is so loud that she takes out some earplugs to wear. As she lies on the floor trying to grab the plug, she hears several muffled voices from under the floor. She uses the kitchen knife to rip off the rug and hear clearly. She hears her mother asking her to say Happy Fourth of July repeatedly and her voice keeps getting distorting. Chloe visits Hank, who seems happy to find out that the procedure is working. He offers her some drink and talks about the missing girl. He claims that they have tried their best to find her mother. He also expresses his concern after seeing Chloe talk to Joshua and warns her to stay away from him. 
A few years back, several pets went missing. Although there was no proof, Hank believes Joshua and his mother were behind it, as they are weird. Chloe then thanks him for the heads up and then asks to borrow a drill. When at home, Chloe drills a hole on her bedroom floor to hear the voices more clearly. The voices are still the same, where her mother keeps asking her to say, Happy 4th of July. She uses a flashlight to point at the spot right under the hole and goes downstairs to press her ear against the floor. A sudden screech and bang is heard, which makes her ears bleed. She then proceeds to mark the floor using the chalk that just happened to be lying there for some reason. She soon notices the light in the house next door and bravely decides to investigate. After getting no response by calling out, she goes around the house and gets inside through an open door, but finds no one. Near the window that overlooks her house, she notices a chair facing the window with a tripod and electrical setup, which proves that someone had been there. She then goes back home and falls asleep watching the tape. Her sleep is disturbed again with her mother's voice repeating the same thing. Chloe finally leaves a message for Dr. Lynch informing that there's something wrong with the procedure and mentions the bleeding and the ringing. The next morning, her dad calls, concerned after finding out that she borrowed a drill from Hank. Chloe assures him that she is fine and while talking, notices a wire which reveals to be a hidden microphone. Her dad's voice starts to break up before she hears her mother's distorted voice asking her to go back to bed. Dr. Lynch arrives at her house and after some checkup confirms that Chloe's ears look fine. She reveals that Chloe is the first one to show positive results to the experiment. Chloe tells her about the things she's been hearing but Dr. Lynch brushes it off as auditory hallucinations which are common to people who regain their hearing through implants. They decide to go out to eat where Chloe reveals that she was the last person to see her mother and then she went into a coma for six months because of meningitis. When she woke up, she lost both her hearing and her mother. But she could always hear her mother's voice in her head and when she learned about the procedure, she desperately wanted to drown out her mom's voice. When they get back home, Chloe asks Dr. Lynch to stay and makes a move on her which comes out of nowhere. Dr. Lynch rejects her and all of a sudden expresses her disappointment at Chloe for not telling her about the antidepressants that she is taking, which could corrupt the stud. As she goes on about the project, Chloe's ears start to ring and she rushes to throw up. Later, Chloe wakes up to an empty house and believes Dr. Lynch has left. Outside, she notices Joshua getting out of the house next door and follows him to his house. When no one answers the door, she invites herself in, as usual, and witnesses the nerd den that Joshua has created. She walks inside a room with several devices, and it is revealed that Joshua is the one who put the microphone in her house. She confronts him about all this, and Joshua claims that he takes care of the house next door. A few months back, he saw something weird at Chloe's house and started to keep an eye on it. He says that it's a frequency from the spirit world that only Chloe could hear. He forces her to listen to it, asking her to accept it, but the ringing in Chloe's ears increases and she shouts at him to leave her alone before storming off. Back home, Chloe watches the tapes again, but this time her mother communicates with her, asking how she grew up so much. The voice starts to get overwhelming for Chloe, and she passes out. She wakes up at Hank's house, who explains that her father called him concerned because she wasn't picking up his calls. Hank came to the house and found her unconscious with her ears bleeding out. He assures that she is safe with him as the storm rumbles outside and the lights go out. He goes to turn on the generator while Chloe finds that her phone is gone. She notices a picture on the wall where Hank has folded out Chloe's father to leave him and Chloe's mother on the frame. She realizes that she is not safe and decides to leave using the car parked outside. But as she gets her boots, Hank gets there. She pretends to be sick and rushes to the bathroom, faking throwing up. 
she sneaks out the window just as Hank wears his black gloves and gets ready to kill her while talking about the noises in his head. Chloe runs towards the shed nearby where she finds the bodies of the women who recently disappeared along with Dr. Lynch. She then runs off to her house and tries to find a weapon, but just then, a video starts to play on the TV where Chloe witnesses Hank murdering her mother. Why is her mother's spirit trying to distract her? Hank arrives and knocks Chloe out. He takes her to her room, and while he wipes the blood off her ears, Chloe wakes up. Joshua also arrives, calling out for Chloe, and she screams for help. Hank then ties her to the bed and uses the pillow cover in her mouth. He goes downstairs, lying that Chloe has lost it and ends up stabbing Joshua. Meanwhile, Chloe manages to get out of the binds and finds the kitchen knife under her bed. Hank goes back upstairs and Chloe attacks him from behind. She rushes downstairs to Joshua, but Hank follows her. Just as Hank is about to attack again, the static on the TV gets delirious, which somehow starts to torment Hank. Chloe takes the chance to finally kill Hank. She then tries to call 911 from Joshua's phone, but hears her mother's voice again. The film ends as Chloe finally replies to her mother by saying, Happy 4th of July. Did you figure this one out? I walked away from this one still scratching my head. But let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you'd like to watch more on Movie Shortens, please subscribe to the channel to be notified about when our next video is posted. Thanks for watching.